Hello, hi, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Come on, somebody, hallelujah to his name. Um, you know, I was actually walking in, um, in Walmart, and um, I was on my way to try to get things to do the tabernacle, because I'll be joining my class doing the tabernacle of David, a replica. And so this woman, she stopped me. And we had kind of seen each other before, and she knew of me through friends. And for an hour, we talked about the season of testing. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So when I got back in the car and when I got home, God said, let my people know what's going on in this hour. Some of you understand what's going on, but some of you don't. Do you remember David? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. David was always in testing. As a matter of fact, let's just be honest. Everyone in that Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, they were tested. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. That's what season that you are in. You are being tested. And before you get blessed, you got to be tested. Before you get anointed, you got to be tested. Because God is not going to trust you if he can't trust you to trust yourself. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And we have a church that don't understand the power of God, don't understand how to truly worship God, and do not walk in obedience of God, but want the fruits and the labor of God. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And the blessings. Oh, come on, somebody. So let me take you on a walk this morning. Or may I say this afternoon. David. Do you remember when David sinned with Bathsheba? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Let's go back then. I know everybody's been preaching this for so many years. David was out of position because David was supposed to be at war that day. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So that's the first thing. Most of you are out of position and you wonder why that God has given the devil permission to test you because you're out of permission. God already knows what you're going to do. God already knows what you're going to say. God already know that you're going to fall. Oh, did I say that? God knew David was going to bite. He knew David was going to sleep with Bathsheba. He knew David was going to have a husband killed. He knew it. And God allowed it because God wanted David to know it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This testing is not for God, but it's for you. Come on, somebody. God is showing you, you. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, know, I know you thought he was showing your sister cucumber down the street. Or uh, 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 brother cucumber down the street. No, he's showing you, you, honey. Because that's what's wrong with the church. You got so many haters, so say. Can't nobody hating on you. Some of the stuff is true about you. Hallelujah. So God is showing you, you in this hour. And the reason why he's showing you, you, so you can get that stuff together. So you can get it right. So you can go to the next level. Most of you want to go to the next level and you don't understand. This is a, a glory to glory walk. This is a fake to fake walk. This is an obedience to obedience walk. And some of you can't get the level one, but you want to go to level 10. Come on, somebody. Some of you trying to take the elevator. It don't work like that, honey. This is really levels. First level, second, third. And guess what? You don't move to the next level until God say that you can move to the next level. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So that's what the church is experiencing in this time, in this season, a, a season of testing, of hard testing. Come on, somebody. In Timothy, he said, endure hardness as a good soldier. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And just to be real with you, some of you so timid. Ooh, it hurts. As soon as God allow you to be tested, you back up. You don't want to serve God. You back up. You don't want to go to church. You back up. You don't want to get in your word. You back up. You don't want to fast. You don't want to pray no more. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God is testing to show you, you, that guess what? You need him every day. You need to commune every day because here's what happened. When you first get in church, you start doing everything right. And then when God allowed testing, then you back up because you realize, guess what? I'm not in position like I think I should be. And that's the only reason that God allowed testing so you can understand that you need to commune with God. You need to fast. You need to spend time with God. You need to get in that word. You need to pray. Come on, somebody. And the reason why some of you are backsliding is because, guess what? This one come out but by fasting and prayer. You don't want to fast. You don't want to pray. But yet you want God to take it away. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This is a season of testing and God say hard testing. But I, I decree and declare that after this fall, 
Oh, come on, somebody. You ain't going to do it no more. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because now you understand that you need God. You can't do this by yourself. I know you thought you was a super Christian, but now you understand that you are a needed Christian. Come on, somebody. And that you need God every day in every way. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It wasn't until after David sinned with Bathsheba and God allowed the baby to die. That's when David understood one thing. I'm going to stop playing with God because God is not playing with me. What am I saying? Some of you need to understand the things that you are doing will come back into your own backyard. Now, it may not come in the way that you put it out there, but it's coming back, thus said the Lord. So this is a season of hard testing, hard testing that's going on in the church. And some of you are giving up because guess what? You were never rooted and grounded in the beginning. Oh, come on, somebody. That's why Satan's winning. You were never rooted and grounded. You were never healed and delivered. That's why you keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But God say this time after the fall, I'm going to call it the fall. You're going to be good, honey, because guess what? God is allowing it for a reason because now you have to change. You see, once, once you get something that hits you to the core of your spirit, spirit and God allow it, everything shifts in your life because now you understand I got to do this right. I can't play with this thing. I can't play with God because truth be told, the church play with God just a little too much because you've been entertained for so long that you equate entertainment with the spirit of God and that is not so. Come on somebody, hallelujah. God is a God of order. God is a God of love and God is a God of recompense. He will pay you for what you're doing. Oh, come on somebody and for what you're not doing. Hallelujah to his name. It is time to get rooted and grounded, church. It is time to stop playing with God. It is time to be obedient to God. It is time to worship God the right way and not the way that you've been taught. Because some of you have been taught wrong. I'm telling you what God say. So God bless you. I pray that you understand that the reason why you're going through so much in this season is because God is allowing it. God is allowing it for your growth. It is time for you to grow. It is time for you to mature. It is time for you to stand. Come on somebody, hallelujah. Because some of you, you're so fickle. You go this way, you go that way, you go this way. You, you, you don't even know where you're going. You just go with the flow. When a person is seasoned and grounded, they test everything and everybody. Oh, come on, somebody. You don't just move. You wait and you pray. And then you wait for confirmation. But some of you just move. And then when you get in things, the first person you blame is God. Not understanding this. And I need you to really hear me now. Whatever is birthed in the flesh, you are obligated to do it. Come on, somebody. By yourself. God is not obligated because he didn't birth it. That's something you did without even Asking him, God, should I do this? Now, whatever is birthed in the spirit, God started it. So God is obligated to fulfill it. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to say that one more time. Whatever is birthed in the flesh, that's on you, honey. Whatever is birthed in the spirit, God is obligated to fulfill it. Y'all got to come back to the oracles of God. It's too much entertainment. It's too much excitement. It's too much. Everybody want to be a doctor. Come on, somebody. I'm just being real about it. That's why we don't see the power of God. That's why we don't see the spirit of God. Because really, y'all don't know God. Now, I'm just going to keep it real. You know of God, but you have not spent time with God. That's why you go here and there. Because some of you don't even know the voice of God. Because you have not spent time with God. You have not communed with God. You don't know God. Hallelujah. We have a church that don't know God. Because if you did, like Les Brown said a long time ago, if you knew better, you would do better. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. But I tell you, I keep hearing it. He said, after the fall, they're going to call. Mm -mm -mm. Isn't it true? After you really fall down and God expose you, because that's what he does after the fall, you're good, aren't you? Because now you understand two things. I can't do this no more. I can't play like this no more. I have to get real with myself. What am I saying? The whole point of being a child of God is to know thyself. Be true to thyself and stop playing this game. Because guess what? People see, they just don't say nothing. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. People see you. Let me tell you something. The spirit of truth is so heavy on this earth. Liars are having a hard time in this season. Because guess what? Just because people don't call you a liar don't mean that they don't think that you're a liar. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. So God bless you. I pray that you are encouraged. I pray that you are empowered. I pray that you are equipped for real stop playing it is time to get real about your walk with god it is time to 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 write your strengths and your weaknesses down where you're strong at okay god i need to get stronger in this area where you're weak at i need to take care of that god and god is telling you come on somebody hallelujah you can't go round about 
you have to go from level to level to level. And you don't get checked off until God check you off. And, and at the end of that thing, God will look and say, now you're starting to look like me. Now you're starting to look like my child. Hallelujah to his name. You have to get serious. So that's what's happening. And that's why a lot of you are feeling it. You're feeling the pressure. And you're running here. You're running there. You're trying to get relief. Can I tell you the only thing that spell relief is God, honey. That's the only thing. You can't do it through a man. You can't do it through a woman. You can't do it through drugs, alcohol, sex, fornication, money. You can try it all day long, honey. You'll still have a, a void in your life because that part belongs to God and God alone. Hallelujah to his name. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you share this, tag someone in this, and understand what season that we are in. We are in a season of hard testing. God said, be strong in the Lord. Don't give up. Some of you want to give up, and you give up so bad until you, you go backwards. You start doing things that you say you'll never do no more. And come on, let me tell you something. They are sending people to encourage you to do, because guess what? The enemy, that's what he does. The enemy's job is to let you know that, guess what? You are still who he thought you was. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Or what they thought you was or what you did in the past. God's job is to tell you, no, you're not. You have to see what I see. I've called you out of that mess. I've called you to be a child of mine. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. How do you see yourself? Because if you see yourself as a failure, then that's what you will do. But if you see yourself as I am who God says I am, you're going to come up. You're going to challenge yourself. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And uh -huh. truth be told, a real leader going to challenge you too. But some of you don't like to be told what to do. You don't like correction. Hallelujah to his name. So God bless you. And I pray that you have a blessed day in the Lord. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Rule out soldiers.